Well, hi, everybody. I'm Bruce, the Gig Farmer, coming to you from Bandwagon Music Studio. For today, we're starting on a series of banjo lessons. This is the five-string banjo, including the short string up on top, your fifth string, which is tuned to a G. Your fourth string is a D. Third is a G. Second is B. And the first string down below is a D. The five string banjo has two G's, two D's, one B. It's tuned to an open G chord, which is nice. That's very handy. You'll appreciate that later on. I tuned up with my snark. We're ready to go. When you're playing the five string banjo, you probably want to get a couple of metal finger picks for your index and middle fingers. Notice when I hold them up to the camera, they are facing away from me. The blade is, that is, the part that contacts the string. That's very important. When I was first learning, I think I put them on backwards for the first couple of practices until I figured out I was doing it wrong. It's a common mistake. So when you turn your hand towards you, you should be seeing the blade, and that's the part that strikes the string. You're going to pluck upward for your fingers and downward with your thumb. Now to help you find the strings, you're going to take your pinky and your ring finger, you're going to anchor them about a half an inch maybe away from the bridge. We've tuned the banjo. We are ready to go. We're going to learn the forward roll. The forward roll is played by plucking with your thumb then your index finger, then your middle finger, then your thumb, index, middle, again, and then your thumb. Seven notes. Now most songs in common time will have eight eighth notes to a measure. So we're leaving out a note, an eighth note, at the end to give a little space. And you could hear that when I was playing it. Listen again. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing there. The thumb is striking the fifth string. The middle finger is hitting the first string. And the index finger is hitting the third string. The most difficult part of this roll is probably going to be your index finger trying to hit that third string because there are strings on either side of it and it makes it tough to not accidentally hit another string. But again, practice makes something. And in this case, we hope it'll make for a clean roll. Let's try it now together. Thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, rest. Thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, rest. Thumb, index, middle, thumb, Index, middle, thumb, rest. Here we go with the count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Here are a couple things to look out for. Don't get in the habit of going thumb, index, middle, stop. Thumb, index, middle, stop. Thumb, index, because then you end up with this roll. That's not what we want. We want. To finish off, we're going to go a little bit faster. I also want to mention that in our upcoming videos, you're going to see uh, some chords. We're going to start getting into the left hand. 
and of course songs. There's an easy song I want to teach you next lesson. But we've got to practice on this forward roll and get it down. So here we go. I'm just going to snap my fingers. That's going to be the metronome here. You ready? We start on the one. One, two, three, four. Very good, I hope. You should have finished right when I did. If not, maybe your timing was a little bit off. If you felt good about that, let's go on one more time to a little bit faster. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. That's going to do it for today's lesson. Tune into the next one and we'll go on with some chords and maybe a new roll pattern as well. I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. This is Bruce, the Gig Farmer, signing off. Crazy times, stay sane.